Why didn't this woman prepare something for me to eat? Where are these guys playing like this today now? Peter, where is your mom? She went out. Went out? Where did she keep my food? Daddy, check your food flags or the microwave. There's nothing there and the pots are empty. Then I can't see. I already called her initially that I won't be eating at home since I and my friends already ate out. So, I don't know if she cooked or not. You see how your mom is behaving, right? She left the house without preparing my meal and she did not bother to let me know she was going out. Is that how a woman that is responsible is supposed to behave? You can call my mom all sorts of names, but certainly not irresponsible. We all know who is really irresponsible. And you know with all that woman has done for you despite all your actions towards her. You're supposed to be worshipping her now. I'm very sure if it was under woman, she would have abandoned you for long, if not even divorced you. Are you talking to me like that? Are you trying to take sides with your mom? I'm not taking sides, dad. I am saying the truth. I did not mean to disrespect you. I am very sorry, sir. I'm so tired right now and I'm hungry. Let me just quickly make noodles before I lay down to rest. Hey, hello, mom. My baby, how are you? I'm good, mom. How are you doing? I'm fine. Hope I didn't interrupt anything. Ha ha ha. Not at all, mom. Where are you now? I'm at my hostel. Just came back from the lecture room. Okay, dear. I need to speak to you about something if you are not busy. Go on, mom. I'm all ears. I got laid off from my work a few weeks ago. What? But why? What happened? The company was shut down, so they had to lay off all staffs. Jesus. So what will you do now, mom? Why was I not informed before now? Is Peter aware? Yes, Peter is aware, although I told him not to tell you because of the presentation you were preparing for. I did not want you to worry, and everything will be fine. I will manage. Just call to inform you so you will know the situation of things at home and manage yourself well, because things have taken a new turn, and your father is still not helping the matter. Mom, the Lord will see us through in Jesus' name. Amen. Just keep praying for me and face your studies. All right, Mom. Bye, dear. Bye, Mom. Knock, knock. Anybody, Mom? Who is there? Mommy, it is Lovelyn. Lovelyn, come inside. The door is not locked. Mommy, good afternoon. Afternoon, my dear. How is my friend doing? She is fine, Ma. Was she the one that sent you? Because I told her not to worry. I will come see her myself. No, Mommy. My mom did not send me. I came for a different purpose. Alright, sit down. What is going on? I came to report Grace to you because you are the only one that can talk to her aside our mom as she will listen. Grace is becoming something else by the day, especially now that she knows my mommy cannot leave her sick bed. She has become more disrespectful. She goes out without informing anybody and comes back late. She now moves around with some wayward girls and she doesn't listen to anyone. It is well. Don't worry. I will speak to her about that careless way of living. The world is a very dangerous place and one should not live a careless life. I will call her over and speak to her. Get your mind settled, alright? Alright, ma. Thank you so much. I will be taking my leave now. I am going for the prayer meeting in the church. Okay, then. Quickly be on your way so that you won't be late. Manage this for your transport. Thank you so much, Ma. God bless you. Bye bye. All right. Bye. Good afternoon, Mommy. Grace, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you, Ma. My mom asked me to greet you and thank you so much for all you are doing for us. Your mom does not listen to me at all. I told her to stop all this thank you already. My sister told me you asked to see me today. Yes, Grace. I sent for you. I really need to discuss something with you. Okay, ma'am. Is there anything you want to tell me? Just tell me. Even if it is something you want and no one is doing or something that is getting you upset, just tell me now. No, ma, nothing's upsetting me, and I don't need anything at all. Are you sure? 
If you are sure, how do you then explain your recent character of being rude to your elder ones, going out late and coming home when you feel pito, hanging out with wayward children, eh? Tell me, how do you explain that? Your mom is sick, but you are doing something that can even send her to an early grave. Is that what you want from her? Do you want to be used for ritual or killed before you learn your lesson? You had better change your ways and stop all those bad behaviors that do not signify a child of God. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry for bad actions, and I promise to change. I will change from now on. That would be good for everyone, especially yourself. That is all I want to speak to you about. But before you go, come and take this full stuff from the kitchen. Emma, have you seen the latest Mount Zion movie? They just released it on Sunday. What's the title? When me. I have heard of it, but I haven't seen it. Do you have it? Big sis, what is the meaning of that nonsense you just tried with me? Don't you ever in your miserable life report me to a total stranger. You hear me? Am I the one you are warning? Yes. And what will you do? I say, what will you do? I guess it's because I'm calling you big sis. That is why you don't have sense, Abby. See, lovely. If you try this next time, you will really hate me. You must be high on something to call me by my name. Even Ima would not disrespect me that way. Talk more of in my very presence. Big sis, please calm down. You slapped me? Honestly, I will return that slap. Ima, leave her alone. Let her come and see what I will do to her since she doesn't have respect. Let me teach her a very good lesson today. Grace, if you don't get a hold of yourself, I will beat you myself. Is it because I'm telling you to calm down? Is she your mate? Am I even your mate? Talk more of sis. Get out now before I lay my hands on you. You two want to gag up or be Abby? <laughs> Abby? No problem. <laughs> so I am the bad egg inside this house. Anything I do, they will complain and start reporting me everywhere. But if it's someone else, they will pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> no problem, I will not talk again. Grace, stop crying. It's okay. You know everything Big Sis is doing is not because she hates you. It is because she loves you and does not want anything bad to happen to you. Especially now that mommy cannot take care of us herself. Big Sis is the one carrying the burden of trying to ensure we do not go astray. Please stop fighting with her. So I am now the one that is fighting her, Abby. But she's the one that slapped me. See, so don't even get me angry before I pounce on you. Get lost. But... I said get lost. Stupid girl. I don't even know who asked for her advice. Lovely. 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 Anybody there? Yes, mommy. What do you need? Call your sister for me. Which of them, mom? Lovely. Okay, ma. Big sis, mom is calling you. Hope all is well. I don't know, but she asked for you. Yes, mom, you called for me. I heard your voice and that of your siblings so loud that it actually woke me from my sleep. What is the matter again? Mom, we are very sorry for disturbing your rest. It was Grace that started her drama again. What did she do this time? She has been misbehaving and I reported that to Mrs. Martins so that she would be spoken to only for her to come back furious, warning me never to report her to strangers. She thinks I hate her but I'm only doing all this because of how much I love her. It is well. Everything will be okay. Just be patient with her. Where is she now? She left the house. Alright. Please just be calm with her, okay? I'm sure she will change. I really pray so. I pray she changes and soon. It would be a great relief. She will change. Just keep praying for her. Okay, ma. I want to go and start cooking. It's getting really late. Hey, big sis. You are home already. That is a bit earlier than usual. Any problem? Not all my boss asked me to close a bit early so that I can rest. He noticed how stressed I was today. Okay, 
You actually don't need all the rest you can get. That is very true. But hold on, someone seems extremely happy. Tell me, what is the deal? There is no deal, Lo. Nothing at all. That is not true. You know I know you very well and you can't well hide anything from me. Whenever you have that smile on your face, you have something to say to spill it. You got me on that. Okay, guess what? I can't guess. Just tell me already. I got a job. Wow, seriously. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. So what kind of job is it? It is a job at the park. What park? The car park. I am to work at the car park, giving tickets, loading vehicles, etc. What? Is that the kind of job you were talking about? You can't do that kind of job. It is very risky. Big sis, I'm sure I can do it. It is very easy. Ima, please don't do that kind of job, please. Sis, I will do it, but I promise to be careful. Is that okay? If that is what you want. Big sis, should I bring out all of mommy's clothes and my own out at once? Yes. I want us to wash it because I'm not sure of when I will have a break during weekend like this again. Okay, big sis. 